everyone, thanks for coming back for another anime figure opening video today. Today, we're going to be looking at the AMP Rem figure, the winter made image version that dropped a little while ago. And oh my god, am I so excited to open this. As soon as I saw pictures of this online, I immediately fell in love and had to get my hands on this. I will comment that this video is probably going to come out uh, kind of before a lot of other videos that I have already filmed. So this is kind of jumping the queue because holy hell do I want to get into this. So let's kick things off by taking a look at the box. So as you can see we have something kind of new here. We actually have a nice embossed logo on the box. This is Artist Masterpiece and I'm guessing this is a new series of figures from this company because yeah I have never seen any figures from them and god doesn't that look amazing. Oh anyway so this is a really really cool logo in the corner. Uh, we have Rem taking up the entire front kind of in a nice kind of come at me bro kind of pose which is kind of cool. Uh, we also have this beautiful frame going around the outside of the image here and actually there's a beautiful kind of regal pattern in the background. Hopefully you can kind of see that. Uh, very pretty. And then down here we again have that nice kind of beautiful pattern going on here and here kind of similar to the outside with ReZero AMP Rem figure winter made image version. And I will highlight there are two versions of this. There is this one and there is also a special Gente version, which is the version that only comes out in some specific stores. And guess who has it? Oh, I'm going to open that one after this one, so we're going to go in order. <laughs> but that will also be coming, so do look forward to that one as well. Anyway, on the side over here, we just have Rem from another angle. And look at that shot. Isn't that amazing? Look at that photography. So impressed by that. It's really, really cool. Um, but she takes up the whole side. There's no text over here. On the other side over here, we do have a little bit more Japanese and a kind of like blurrier background. Uh, I will explain what these are. This up here is the person that made the prototype, so Akimofu. Over here we have the finisher, so the people that actually finished the model, so that's what, Ekoshi. And then down here we have the photographer for this box. Um, so that is Vice Star Studio, and yeah, wow, this photography is just fantastic. Look at that, that's cool. Uh, but that's on this side, and I'm glad they give them a whole side for credit, so that's kind of cool. And then on the other side over here, we just have a few shots of Rem on her own with nothing in the background. So actually really nice. Uh, again, with our artist masterpiece logo up there and then our ReZero logo down here. So uh, yeah, wonderful. God, this box is beautiful. And I love that background. Look at that. I can't wait to open that stand. Oh, okay. Anyway, this is the back uh, over here. It's a big box, by the way. We have the bottom. Again, we have that ReZero information up there, our safety information, and a few other comments. So example, what it's made of over here. So kind of cool. And then on the top, we ha just have Artist Masterpiece there. We have our Jaya Prize, our title, and our Karoko sticker to show that this is official. So um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful box. I mean, this is just oh, perfect. I feel like this isn't a prize figure, honestly. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get this open. Okay, so in with our knife. So yes, apologies to those of you that were hoping to see me win this. As I said in one of my vlog videos, this was actually kind of a spur of the moment win. I was out with a friend at the game center, saw this and I just couldn't stop myself. Um, so apologies for that, but we did get it. And oh, she was so cheap. She was 16 bucks, $16. What? <laughs> um, I wish I'd filmed it actually, because that would have been cool to show you. Uh, anyway, anyway. That's for another time. We'll come to that later. All right, have a look. Ooh, nice top. And we have a beautiful plastic inside. Oh, I, I'm super excited for this. I cannot stress that enough. Here we go. Oh my God, she's fucking massive. Whoa, she's huge. <laughs> oh my God, oh, this is so cool. All right, you're gonna have to give me a second to get this unpackaged and probably just scream to myself saying, yeah. So uh, <laughs> give me one second. Okay, stand. And here is our stand. So let's just put you down. Oh, what? You thought I was done with this? No way am I done here. This is just the beginning of the journey. Look at this. Oh my God, that's so fun. Uh, sorry, I was really loud there. My cat just gave me the weirdest look. <laughs> this is super cool. Um, now, I do need to highlight this and this go together. This will actually go in like so. But first, let's have a quick look at this. <laughs> As you can see, it's just a clear plastic. You can see all the way through it. So you can see that snowflake down there. Um, up here, we can see TNK ReZero. You probably can't see it because there is... Oh, there's 
dirty glove because there is a very clear background so maybe you can kind of read that there i doubt it and then there are two holes here for the snowflake to go into so we're going to put that in just now like so um and i will also comment before we do that that this actually has a star kind of sticky out piece um, again, if you look very carefully, there are two points sticking off there, so they will go into here like so. If we can get this around the right way. Um, and we'll just push it in. There we go. Oh, wow, that is stuck in there. That is not coming back out. <laughs> um, so you can see it's now inside. And here is our real stand! Look at that! Look how pretty that looks! Oh my god, there is so much to talk about here. So as we can see, there is a beautiful kind of blue and purpley colouring to this nice, beautiful snowflake. Every single part of this is beautifully detailed. I mean, just look at that. Holy hell. God, I love unique stands like this. This is fantastic. And it stands at an angle too. So Ren will definitely be kind of like standing off at a different angle herself. So, wow. But anyway, that is our stand. So I am going to put this down over here. God, that's so pretty. Look at that. <laughs> and then we have the Rem figure herself. And this is our first time to look together. So we'll just remove this plastic. Wow, is she... Oh, she's so pretty. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> All right. As always, let's kick things off by looking at her face. So as you can see, Rem's hair has grown significantly. Maybe where she's been in a bit of a sleepy state. She hasn't had much time to cut her hair. But holy hell, that is really long. <laughs> um, but we can see one eye there nicely detailed. There is another eye hidden behind that. You can't see it because it <laughs> it's pretty solid, this front piece. Uh, her nose does stick out a little bit there. You can't actually see it at all. There you go. Uh, and then her mouth is nicely agape. And there's wonderful detail there. There's nice colouring kind of inside. You can see her teeth, her tongue. Very, very well thought out. But then her hair. I mean, as I mentioned, this goes down really far. So her fringe is damn long here. She's got one little piece sticking off here, which is a little bit sharp, which is kind of cool. She also has one of her headbands pulling her hair to one side so she can actually see. Because um, this is not practical. And I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but actually this goes from a solid kind of hard plastic down to a more clearer kind of plastic here. So you can slightly see through it. Not much, but you can slightly. We also have her trademark ribbon here on her headband, which kind of sticks off. Again, these lovely little tassels sticking off by themselves. So this is nicely detailed. Her headband as well is very well thought out. And actually each of these little points looks like a mini kind of flower that is opening. So very, very well done. What I also like is actually her headband goes underneath her hair. And that small detail is just so unique. You never really see that in any of these prize figures. So very well thought out. And then on the back of her hair, we can see it goes from a lighter blue down to actually a very dark blue or kind of purpley color. Um, and what I love about this is it actually multiply, like, has multiple layers. So there are a few layers there. But it's kind of odd. I've never seen her hair go down into a purple color. I would have thought blue. So yeah, interesting choice. Yeah, interesting choice. You can actually see as well where the, her hair has been stuck on at the tip there. So it looks like maybe it was designed one color, but this was an addition at the end. Who knows? Well, I think the designers know, but <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, that's her head. Let's move down to her maid dress. So moving down her body, as you can see, she's wearing this black and white maid dress. And at a distance, probably on the screen, this looks very pretty, right? It looks quite nice. But actually, when we get closer up, it does look a little bit cheaper and you can really see where the prize quality is. For example, on her sleeves here, these folds are beautiful, but it just feels so plasticky, um, which is kind of a shame. Kind of same over here. Um, you can also see kind of here connected in between uh, below her bust and her waist. Like these buttons look a little cheap, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, actually, generally, it looks quite nice. Now for more detail, we can see she has this actually really pretty collar on her neck. That has a wonderful amount of detail to it. I mean, just look how well that's been designed. There's a lovely kind of ruffle going around. It kind of kicks up at the back here, but probably because it looks like she's jumping or posing. Um, but it also gives a little bit more like dynamism to this figure. Dynamism is that a word? It's more dynamic, I suppose. Um, so it's very nice, actually, really, really pretty. Um, you can see that her boobs are kind of like separated from the rest of her dress. I suppose that's to stick out, so I don't know, more appealing. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, but it does have a nice kind of pattern going down here in the middle, so that's very well thought out. 
And there are a few folds there, so actually it does look a little bit realistic, um, which is kind of cool. We can also see on her sleeve, as I mentioned, this plasticky bit here is kind of off-putting, but actually, down at the end, this is quite nice. And her sleeve is hollow. They didn't need to design that. I mean, wow, inside it actually looks fluffy and warm. Probably that winter made image is probably so that this looks like it's for winter, that nice kind of warm fluff to it. Um, and you will see the same thing when we look under her skirt later for the pan shot, but that's really, really cool. Um, her hand is very nicely detailed. The fingers have kind of been kind of molded separately, which is kind of cool. Um, she does have some tiny little nails on there, uh, which you kind of hard to see. No paint, but no paint is also fine. And on this side, as you can see, her hand is again nicely detailed, her thumb sticking out and her fingers have been nicely molded separately. That's kind of the same on the back there too. But I just want you to look for a second. I mean, look at how detailed the palm of her hand is there. I mean, there's actually a few lines that look very realistic, very well thought out. I mean, how often do you get that even in like a scale figure? On a price figure, that just blows my mind. But that's really cool. Her hands are nice and pretty. Moving down the figure, she has this nice apron here at the front. And again, this has that beautiful kind of folding to it. There is also a nice bit of shading going on. It's gone from this kind of white color into some of the purple that we kind of saw in her hair earlier. So it's very nicely thought out. It's actually the same underneath her breasts too. I've only just noticed it. So you can see that it's kind of purple. Um, probably again, maybe to give that wintry look to it. Um, but this is very nice. Unfortunately, this bit here does feel very cheap. Um, this outside, it looks very plasticky. Uh, I don't know how they would have done that better. I'm not sure. Maybe because it's bigger? Um, I don't know. I don't know. But it's kind of odd, I feel. But then on the back, we again have a bow here, which is holding that apron to her. Again, that nice kind of shading, these pieces separated, and just wonderful, wonderful amounts of detail. So very pretty. And then moving down this dress, as we can see, there's these beautiful folds. There's this nice kind of like rough, well, not rough, kind of like fluffy outline here at the bottom. All these folds feel very natural, and it's just very, very pretty and hollow. And you will get to look under there in a second once I look at her legs. So uh, yeah, you might be pleasantly surprised. It's actually really, really cool under there. Um, God, that's one of the creepiest things I've ever said. <laughs> all right, let's take a quick look at her legs. So as we can see, she has white tights that go all the way up to the top part of her body, which is kind of cool. You can actually see just a little bit of that fluffiness under here. And I'm going to show you that in a second. That's what I meant by it looks really cool. There's also nice shading here on the back of her legs, that purple color. Um, unfortunately, it looks like a bruise, so it's kind of uncomfortable to look at. But I know what they're trying to get at. This is supposed to be shading, so very thought out. Oh, very well thought out is the right word there. Um, her legs are nicely bent as well, so it has a nice kind of natural bend to it. And then moving further down, we just have very basic shoes, which are nice and shiny, nice strap on them, and just not a ton of detail. But the most important part here is that these are much shinier than the rest of her body, so they actually look like they're nicely polished shoes. So again, nice design choice there. Very cool. But yeah, this is an absolutely stunning figure, and I am very impressed. I mean, you would not believe that this is a prize figure. I think a lot of people would happily pay like seven, eight thousand yen for this, so 70, 80 bucks. The fact that I won her for 16 still blows my mind. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not here to brag. I'm here to now show you some pants. So if you do want to skip that, please do jump to the time at the bottom. I will leave that for you. But if you actually want to see something quite interesting, and I do recommend you stay for this, stay. So here we go. So, as you can see, inside of her dress, it looks like a flower. Look at that beautiful outside pattern. Very nice. But what is most important here is that beautiful texture. Why did they have to design that? There was no need to have to design that. That is so well thought out. I mean, that's just so pretty. Um, unfortunately, her pants are, well, I wouldn't say disappointing. They're on the outside. I don't know why they're on the outside. I would have thought they'd be under her tights, but there you go. There's a bit of fan service for anyone that wants to look at Rem's pants. Um, but I'm just more focused on this. This is bloody awesome. Well, well done. Uh, there are also a few holes on her feet here, and these are to go into the snowflake. So let's turn her back. Welcome back everyone, we're now going to get her into her stand, so give me one second. Oh my god. <laughs> and here she is in her stand, and oh, oh my god, I don't even know what to say. This is stunning, just look how pretty that is. Oh my god, I cannot wait to take these pretty shots. <laughs> Guys, if you're looking to get a Rem figure, get this Rem figure. 
as you all know, I love Rome Focus, but this is just outstanding. Oh, oh God. Oh. Anyway, right, let me give you all a few pretty shots of this figure. So, let's take a look. Let's go next door. Wow. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. This is outstanding. I have not opened a figure this amazing in a very, very long time. Um, we have started to find again another problem. We are once again running out of space. I have tried to make a little bit of space down there. So let's put her down there for now. Ooh, why are you focusing on that? Come on. All right, down we go. And oh my God, she just barely fits in there. <laughs> Um, I'm going to put you here for now, so that you are right at the front. But wow, look at you! Oh my god, this figure is absolutely stunning. Just look at that stand, look. I love everything about this. And it's making me even more excited to open up that special version. Probably coming out straight after this video. <laughs> Um, but hey, everyone, if you did like today, please do give us a like, please do subscribe. And hey, let me know what your favourite Rem figure is. I, as you all know, we have a ton of Rem figures. Um, so, uh... Yeah, let me know which one you like. This is easily now in my top five. This is so cool. All right, love you all and bye.